it's the one you posted, yes. Oh, yes. That's then, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my god, door! I know, it's so <laughs> cute. Don was like, I need video footage. 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 I need video And, uh, you know, if you're working here, it was real. No. Oh, it's too many. Oh, it's too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put uh, the commercial that has the armored guy with the spear that points the camera. That was the, the second act. The only person I have ever met who lives his life after a Jimmy Buffett song, straight from Margaritaville, it is Tobias McCurry, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, there's that other guy that we always have. He is our regular, he is our standard, he is the fantastic Thomas Wolford, ladies and gentlemen. And I do heartily approve of that waistcoat, sir. That is just fantastic. God save the Queen, yes. Oh, I forgot where I was. Sorry. <laughs> Shall we get this show on the road? Yeah! Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and I believe you are mid-transformation. Is it safe? Yeah. As long as the dynamo is in my right hand, because the dynamo is what powers the Dr. and Mr. Hyde half of my personality. Yeah. Excellent. So if he puts that down, run. Please do not put that down. Please stand up to the front of the stage so that uh, everybody can admire you and appreciate you and cheer how amazing you are. Uh, contestants, please walk down the, the steps to the right of the stage there and go visit our judges. They will probably have some questions for you. Assume you're going to come back next year. Yeah. Right? Even though we don't know what the theme is, it's going to be a good theme. Come back next year and uh, you'll get to meet all these people you met this year because so many people here come back. And it's, a, it's a big family here. So welcome everybody that's new. Welcome to Tucson World the Wild Wild West Steampunk Convention. Thank you for coming. Oh, I love that email address. That's fantastic. <laughs> the Spice Bandolero, ladies and gentlemen. The Spice Bandolero has pepper, salt, red peppers, and sprinkles. <laughs> right, because you never know when you'll have ice cream. <laughs> so, Clarence Cookie Copper Pot. We've got a, we've got a character by us. So, uh, I'll have to explain that you're not going to be able to answer them, so uh, I'll point that out, but you can go and say, sort of, sign to them, and uh, uh, just uh, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> sneaky. Ooh, so this is Clarence Cookie Copperpot. He is an airship cook, and as you may have noticed, he does not speak, and he wears a mask. When he was much younger, he was working aboard the RMS airship Trafalgar. Oh yes, Trafalgar. Thomas, his waistcoat will very much appreciate that. He was an apprentice cook. A terrible fire broke out in the galley. And the ship and everyone on board was in grave danger. If not for Clarence's quick action, all would have perished. But he did pay a steep price. His face and head was badly burned. The superheated air scorched his lungs and vocal cords. Though he recovered his health, the scars remain as a constant reminder. Now he wears this mask to hide the scars, and he is still unable to speak. So please forgive his appearance in silence. Well, he looked fantastic, sir. You look absolutely fantastic. And he will do it all over again. But, well, he's going to wander down to the judges anyway, so I guess he will get a bad joke. Uh, you know about the theme this year, right? What's the theme this year? Magic and mystery, which has been a lot of fun. It's, it's been great. I've seen, what's weird to me is I've seen a whole lot of fairies. There's been a lot of fae. Oh, there's one right there. Yes. But beware, because I've also seen a lot of fairy catchers. They clearly haven't caught you yet. That's good, but, uh, you know, if any of these fae disappear, you know, you're not the find of a lost and found. Go watch for these 
fairy hunters and make sure they give them back. <laughs> oh, I, I love Magic and Misfit, it's a wonderful, wonderful theme. Um, we change every year, so I'll love next year's theme too, whatever it turns out to be, but I love magic and mystery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Extra margaritas, you get salt and pepper hair. <laughs> so, our next contestant is... The invisible hair. Pinkatron, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I know you were out there earlier. Pinkatron, ladies and gentlemen. This was built by Alan Pinkerton, collaborating with the Department of Automata. Yeah. Somebody works at the department right here in the audience. That's a whole about. Oh, you need to see this up close. This is fantastic stuff. Yeah. Please, please uh, walk to the centre of the stage, but not off it. <laughs> now, are you, are you, oh, the judges will come up to you. Okay, perfect. Yes, we've got to run a safe show here. We don't need accidents. Accidents, well, especially magic. Accidents are terrible. We almost had an accident on the way down here because we live in Phoenix and we come down to uh, Tucson for Wild Wild West Con every year. We, we almost drove into a magician on the way down. <laughs> it wasn't our fault, he just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I warned you, I warned you. Judges are good? Okay, Pinkatron, ladies and gentlemen. Please give her a round of applause too. Thank you so much. And next up is... It wasn't my doing, I'm not that good. Ah, here we are. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Wow. Hey. We, we, oh, we have a magic, magic man. Magic fun, good times. Fashion punk, oh yeah. Dizzy Ramsey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> please wander down and uh, chat with our judges, please. Just down the steps to the right. Oh, I was telling you about accidents, wasn't I? Because I'm a terrible magician. You know, I've always wanted to be a great magician, but I'm a terrible magician. Oh, I got one side. Oh, that's now fully recovered. Ah, now I need to check, check writing. Is that a Y or is that an X? You are Madam Gala, Western Fantasy. Yes, Madam Gala, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! And you certainly picked the right day to wear black because the weather out there is uh, quite nice. So, by the way, you're avoiding rain, so congratulations for being here. If you're here only because you're avoiding rain, it's okay. Thank you for coming anyway. Uh, please, please uh, stand in front of the stage so the audience can see. How wonderful you are. Oh. Madam Gale, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you so much. And if you could walk down the steps to the right of the stage and go talk to our judges, that would be fantastic. Okay, next contestant, please. Ooh, we have an interstellar wizard on our stage, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, hopefully I do not butcher your name here, you are Lup Taco, is that right? Lup Taco? 
Loop, ta loop Taco. Uh huh. Loop Taco from the Adventure Zone podcast. Please check it out wherever you may find it. I am sure it is online all over the place. Please stand at the front of the stage and scrub your stuff to the audience. They need to see you. Interstellar Wizardry. And please walk down and talk to our judges. They will have questions for you. Last week they came over and I just had to try out a trick on them. I turned them into armchairs. And it worked. It worked. It was great. I actually managed to turn the kids into armchairs. All three of them. The problem was I couldn't change them back. We have Legolas Green Leaf. The Elf of the Woodland Realm, son, oh, you're gonna really, yes, son of, uh, son of his father, I think, son of Frank Dewey, oh, Frank Gilly a Dwarf. I'm the son of Thandriel. Ah. I'm not friends with Gimli. <laughs> friends with Gimli, that works for me. <laughs> Excellent. Please walk down to talk to our judges. Gonna make them dead right up there. They all ask green leaf. Very eyes. Brilliant. You may have to wait a while. You know, it takes takes a bit of time. Uh, Who's next? Specializing in pesky unicorns. Unicorns are pesky. Oh! <laughs> Please stand at the front of the stage so everybody can see that because that is wonderful. But don't shoot anybody, please. I'm not sure how liability covers it. And wander down to. Uh, Speak with our judges. <laughs> Is that official? No, it's not official. Not official. Okay, so I shall. Spell card. Special holiday edition. Post apocalypse somewhere over the rainbow. Choose your own adventure. Thank you so much. Is, uh, is the voting still open or is it done? Okay. Three o'clock, so uh, you're here till two, but uh, please wander over to the High Chaparral. Matt Basterson, T. Duelist, and the man with no name, which is entirely appropriate for a Western setting. We can steal it from you and we can give you another one later when we see what you do. Please stand at the front of the stage so that everybody can see Matt Basterson and the man with no name. wander down to uh, speak with our judges. Steps across there. <laughs> Look what I found. I love when I don't have to say a single word and you guys are bored anyway. That's fantastic. Yeah. Just in case you came from a different planet, uh, Steampunk Waldo and his apprentice find one, get another one half off. Yes, uh, of course it, it does change. I'm English, so we don't have Waldo. We have Wally. We have Where's Wally? And in other countries there are all sorts of other names. So, but you're here, so you're Wallo and Wallo. Please walk to the front of the stage so everybody can see you. Oh. 
So yes, please wander down the steps and speak with our judges. Uh, they'll have a couple of questions for you. So I was telling you about my, uh, my family of failed magicians, right? And you'd still come back, you masochist slur. Desensitized. <laughs> Desensitized. Yeah, what he's doing now, he's, uh, he's experimenting with the science of magic. He's playing with uh, trapdoor. Uh. So we have uh, Saren and Xander, is that right? Sarah, Sarah. Okay, so, oh, I see. Sarah and Xander. And they have come to bleat the competition, ladies and gentlemen. You've got my bad jokes were bad, that's... <laughs> I think we need to just book you for next year, you know. We'll have a whole set of this on stage, you get an hour, right? <laughs> please, please stand right at the front of the stage so everybody can see you. And you seem incredibly agile in those, so please wander down the steps and uh, have a word with our judges. <laughs> so there was somebody else said a, a favorite thing and I missed it. Welcome to the stage. Woo! The Steampunk Prince and the Mystical Trio, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Please, please walk up to the front of the stage here so everybody can see you. Royal Wave Man Pat, that's perfect. The Seabot Prince and the Mystical Trio, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. I'm going to ask you if you could just walk down the steps there to the side of the stage and go and see our judges at the front here. So our, these are our final contestants. Essence out. I had a really bad one. Because I, uh, I want... Do you want to see all of our contestants back out on stage? Do you want to see our contestants back on stage? Oh, that, that, was, that was great. I, hopefully the judges can still hear to, to finalize their decision. Are you guys good? Sorry, what? what? Have, you, have you decided? Are you, oh, yeah, well, we're writing a nice list for you. Excellent. So... Let's have our contestants back on stage, everybody. So you can see all of our contestants in one place at one time. Please cheer for all of your favorites and please cheer for everybody else because they are wonderful. Great Poupon, yes. And another Great Poupon. You can never have too much Great Poupon. I know you're still out there, come on. I'm going to walk behind you so I don't take care. I don't photobomb your pictures. So we've got everybody on stage. I think we have everybody on stage. Let's hear it for everybody, please. Yeah! Oh yeah, I'm seeing absolutely wonderful, wonderful people on stage. Thank you all, every single one of you. Not all of you can win. I do apologize for that. This is a competition, but some of you will. There are two honorable mentions. Ooh. They don't win anything, I do apologize, but there are honorable mentions and we will mention you honorably. In fact, technically there are three. The first two honorable mentions, thank you very much, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Ooh. 
Honourable mention number two, Fashion Punk, with the note, Slay. I think this gentleman is made out of liquid. Nothing, nothing flesh can move that well. So, thank you to the honourable mentions. We have three winners. I will go in the order that they are given, I believe. So, the best female, Beast Hunter. Brackets, Unicorn Murderer. Those brackets. Oh, well, Countess Chaos, who runs this show, give her, please, a quick, quick yeah. round of applause. That's quick enough. <laughs> best female, Beast Hunter. Best male, Pinkatron. Oh, yeah. The Automaton Detective. Please come with your, uh, please hand the guide in somehow to the front of the stage and with the, our, our lovely uh, Countess Will. Bring an award round to you. Best male, Pinkatron. Yeah. You're fine there, she'll bring, she'll bring it round. Yeah, more drama, more drama roll. The best group at Wild Wild West Con 9 is the Steampunk Prince and the Powerful Girl. And please, uh, once the Paul Davis has uh, finished taking your photo, please walk to the front of the stage so everybody can appreciate you and so that we can bring your award to him. There are four. There are four in best group, so uh, we need four awards to get walked around. And while that is happening, I, I'd really like everybody to be appreciated because I think every, oh, yeah. every contestant on this stage is magnificent. Please give your biggest, loudest, most walkers round of applause to everybody on the stage. Okay, so we are almost out of time, so I think we're good. We've got awards to everybody. Thank you all for coming, everybody in the audience. Thank you for coming, judges. Give our judges a cheer. This was a difficult job for them to do this year. And please give a round of applause to everybody on the stage. And please stick around for the old two-song entertainment that is coming next on the saloon stage. Thank you. I am Henry Cow Chaos. I will see you next year. Thank you. Sure, thank you. I love the unicorn on the back. Thank you.